All right, we are doing a review for workshop nine and milestone four, uh, an overview. Workshop nine and milestone four. These are the two things that you need to know now. Milestone five, we're going to do it next week, same time. Okay, so usually people who pass with high marks are, the, are, the, uh, are people who are to the end in the class. So <laughs> congratulations. It's, statistically, that's 90%. OK? So, 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 so yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, those, are, those who are like A++++, they, sometimes they never come, which I'm fine with it. If you don't need the class and you already know it, then fine. But uh, anyways, so we want to uh, kind of check and see how drive, drive classes with resources work. So we're going to do this. What is this, uh, pro, this uh, workshop? This workshop, um, cr you create a text class that uh, 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 identifies a text on the hard drive. And you can print it on a screen. That's what it does. Simple, straightforward, nothing extraordinary. What you do, you get the size of the file with the logic that I gave you over there. You allocate enough memory, and you don't you you load the the file into your class, and that's your text file. Okay, and then you can print it and whatever. One thing that you need to work, you need to be careful about is that um, the size of the file on Linux and DOS. <laughs> Not us, Windows. Linux and Windows are different in bytes. So don't go by this when you are reading the file into your class. Don't go by the length of the file. Go by success of reading. So read one character. If it's successful, read the next one. If it's successful, read the next one. If it fails, make it null and get out. OK? So the size that you are getting, the way that I did the, the, the size that you're going to learn next uh, yeah, you know it now too, but you're going to learn it in detail in OP345. What I did, I put the um, uh, file pointer to the end of the file, then I ask, where are you? So it tells me where it is. Okay, now if some operating system uses extra characters to represent, for example, new line, one does backslash n, the other one does backslash r backslash n. So two characters for one, one character for another. If, it, if such thing happens, you're going to have slightly bigger amount of memory allocated when you're reading it. But if you go by the number of file, by, by the number of characters and read it, you might read extra things that you do, that you actually, you may end up with an extra space at the end. You don't want that, okay? So read, if it's successful, next. If it's successful, next. If it's successful, next. Or you can do it both, like to be safe, like a good programmer does by both. It says length and success. Whichever comes first, I stop. Something like that. So that's uh, what you need to do. So that's your text. Text. And uh, you create the copy constructor. As a rule of three are applied, you make sure that the destructor is, uh, uh, the destructor is uh, uh, created not to have memory leak. Let me just go through this one by one and see exactly what we are, what we have. So yeah, void receives an iStream interface and returns it at the end. He allocates the content, allocates memory to size of yada yada, we exactly mentioned, reads to uh, file into the allocated memory. Uh, if uh, any data is read, it, uh, it will cl clear the state of iStream, otherwise it will leave it as is. So what, ha what I mean by the last line is that you do the first attempt. If the first attempt fails, it failed, go out, leave it as failed. It means file that didn't exist. OK, so if your first attempt for reading failed, you let it go and you say, I failed. But you e even read one character successfully, it means the file is there, you read it. The next failure is end of the file, which is not, not bad. So that's what you do. OK. Write does the right, dumps that thing on a screen. Easy and straightforward. So the screen went off for a second. There you go. So write what it does, dumps whatever you have on a, on a screen. 
Simple, straightforward. Okay? Because it's an all terminated screen, you can simply do one C out, sorry, one O stream out right. What you, you just, you don't need to write character by character. I see lots of people doing that. Don't do that. It's one string, just print it. Everything's going to go out perfectly, right? It's one statement. You don't need to loop through it. Uh, uh, the read is not virt virtual, but write is. <clears throat> you have helper, func helper functions for inser uh, insertion and extraction. Um, you overload and you're, and you're done. So, and uh, it tells you exactly how it works. So essentially, this file should work properly if the file is that. If I have that file, reading this will print that on a screen. So if the file is ABC new line DFG, it's going to print that on a screen, this, this program over here, which means uh, 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 one, uh, one, two, three, four, the fifth line tests your assignment operator, uh, the sixth line tests your copy constructor, and, and then it prints it out to see if everything's OK. And again, assignment operator to overwrite something and then see how it works. So, and then uh, file length is the one that I gave you. You can write, if you like, reuse this one, okay? But do not count. Another way of doing it, kindergarten way, is to actually read character by character, stop when it fails, and say that was the length of the line, length of the file. You can do that. That's very fine. What if your file is 10 gigs? You know how long it's going to take? Character by character, reading from a file. This simply goes, go to the end, tell me where you are. That's it. Simple. OK. Anyway, so you can use this one or use your own. Now, what is HTML class? The HTML class is a text file with a title. And what it does is that it doesn't change anything in the file. So you don't need to have access to the content. Uh, you do, you do need to have access to the content of the file. That's why you, you have oh, I, I, one more thing over here that I forgot to mention, I think. If, oh, there you go. Yeah, I forgot to mention this. So this is your accessor, OK? So you're going to have a protected index operator a protected index operator uh, created to access the, the data inside the text. So uh, index 0 shows the first character in the, in the thing. And obviously, index is not going to go more than the uh, size of the file. Anyways. Uh, Again, we say the behavior of the pointer of the operator is not defined if the index goes out of, uh, out of bounds or if it co the content is null, which means you don't need to do. Um, you, you could if you want to, but there, it's not necessary to do any type of validation in here. We are assuming the person who's using this thing, uh, which is its child, will check the length before anything happens. Or goes until it hits the null, OK? Because uh, the file is an all terminated content, is an all terminated string. So that's what it's going to do. Going down to the text file. So the text file essentially is uh, an HTML file, is a text file with a title. What it does, uh, uh, so you do, you do, uh, uh, you overwrite the, you overwrite the write in, the, in um, the HTML text, um, what you do is that you essentially convert that text file to a very simple HTML file, which creating, you create an HTML tag, open and close, body tag, header tag. Inside the header tag, you're going to put the title. So um, um, it tells you, so, so you, you, inside the tag, you put the title. And uh, which actually it shows in the output. I'm going to go through it, and you'll see. And then you're going to go through the file, OK? If you hit a space and it's the first time, you don't care. But if you hit immediately adjacent to that one to another space, that space will be converted to non-breakable space. 
that is ampersand and BSP, semicolon. So if it's only one, what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, yeah. It does? Okay, sure, I don't know. It's just like a Okay. Bit, so All right. So, <laughs> is this okay? <laughs> anyway. No, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad? Okay, not okay. Bad. All right, okay. All right. It's like, sure. It's a gang sign. No, this. No, no, <laughs> no, I don't know. I thought somebody's going to beat me with a baseball bat outside or something because of it. But anyway, so yeah. So if, like, for example, in here I'm saying the rest are replaced. So the space rest, that's not going to change. Or that's not going to change. But if... For example, in here, at the beginning of the line, I have three spaces. The first one remains space. The second one will be number equivalent space, number equivalent space, OK? So if you have more than one space, the first one remains space. The rest are changed. So you print that one. You don't, re you don't change it. The content is not changed. It's just when you're printing it. That's all. So the content always remains the same. If you see a less than operator, it's ampersand LT. If it's greater than, it's that one. If it's new line, it's BR space slash BR and backslash N. So you print that one instead. And the outcome is going to be that when you actually open a text file that we have over here. So, so the text file that we have in here, which is essentially the lecture, the, the notes for your uh, Classes with resources, uh, the derived classes with resources, just put that one over there. So this will essentially uh, be converted to uh, something like this, as you see. So we're going to come down. You see that? So what happens is that uh, if there is nothing in here, you're going to put no title. If there is something, you put the title. You put an HTML head title. You print this. You close title. You close head. You open body. And then... You reprint the title in an H1 tag, and the rest you start converting, which is essentially as you see. When I see a new line, it's BR. When if it's at any place that I have more than one space, you will see that they're all changed to number of cable space, and that's the outcome. Okay, and files to submit are that, and obviously you're going to create the uh, uh, copy construction and, and, and uh, an assignment operator to handle the uh, title and also what happens in the parrot. We talked about in the class, you simply call the uh, construct, uh, copy constructor and assignment of the parent, wh however you find fit. Okay? And that's your workshop nine. Any question about workshop nine? Any question one? Any question two? Are you okay? All right. So that's workshop.